Hey, I am Alex. Uh, I come with Mark's ability with my father, Mark. Um, in this video, we're going to show you our top five picks for all-terrain scooters, so stay tuned. Number five on my list is going to be the Golden Eagle. This is by Golden Technologies. Uh, a couple reasons why I do like this scooter. Um, it's got built-in speakers with built-in Bluetooth. That's something kind of new on the market. I don't really know of many other companies that are doing the built-in Bluetooth speakers like they do. Um, also, this comes with the rear storage tote. A lot of people like this to be able to have a lockbox that's built into the back of the unit and the rear docking device. Um, that is a great feature for people if they are going places, shopping, um, or if they want to kind of keep their personal belongings safe in the back of the unit. It does come with the rear storage, storage tote. A couple of reasons why this, the Golden Eagle is a good unit. It does have large tires, uh, has a 500 pound weight capacity, still going up to eight miles an hour, and you can upgrade the batteries to get quite a bit of a range. So people like speed, people like distance, um, people do like having that little bit of a different feel with having the built-in speakers and that rear storage tote. So these are kind of the reasons why I do like that. Another advantage of the Golden Eagle is it only ships with white glove delivery service. So when it comes from the manufacturer to your door, you're gonna actually have a technician that's gonna come, unbox it, put it together and take away all the packing material. So that is a big selling point for a lot of individuals that are out there that one, can't put it together, or two, don't have the ability to get rid of the trash. Maybe they live in a certain complex that doesn't allow that, um, or they're handicapped and they're not able to get rid of the pallet and the boxes. So with white glove, they take care of all of that for you. If I was to point out one disadvantage of the Golden Eagle, it would be that right now it only comes in red. So you're not able really to choose uh, the color and kind of customize it to fit it is kind of a one size fits all right now, larger 22 inch seat on the unit and in red. Um, but I have heard talks of them possibly coming into a green and a few other colors. Um, so always check out our website. We'll be up to date on the website with the available colors if you are interested in this unit. Another reason why the Golden Eagle stands out is probably the price point. It's in that middle $3,000 price point range with the standard batteries. You might be up a little closer to the low fours um, with the upgraded batteries, but due to the price point and due to what you're getting on the unit, this is why I would have the Golden Eagle ranked at number five. Number four on my list is gonna be Afikim S4. They do make a C version. It's a little bit smaller. The S4 is their big boy version. So. What I really like about this unit, unlike number five on our list, number four is crazy customizable. So you can have a overhead weatherproof cover with rain lats on the side. You can put golf cart tires on this unit. Um, you can put different seats from a 20 to a 22 up to a 33 inch wide, what they call a double seat on this unit. Now they do come in, I think three or four different colors. Um, you can upgrade, like I said, the tires, the colors, the, like the rain protection. Uh, it is a lot of things that you can do with this. On some of their models, you can upgrade their motors. Um, so it is a very, very good unit. People do like this because there's really not a lot of us on the market that they say, hey, how do I drive that in the weather? I live in Florida, I live here, it rains all the time. Um, this will fully enclose you and you are protected from the elements. Not only are you protected, but your unit is protected. Another reason why I really like Afikim is they stand behind their products. Um, they actually have a two year warranty bumper to bumper on their units as well. Now obviously that doesn't cover neglect or things like that, but two years across the board is really more than what everybody else does across the board. Some companies will have two years motors or two years on this or that, but this is two years across the board on their units for the warranty. Downside to Afikim, they are more pricey. So you are looking at these units, even without the canopy, you're looking about that $6,000 price point range. You start adding golf cart tires to it, canopy, rain shades, all of a sudden you could be now eight to $9,000. So if price is not a concern, take a look at the Afikim S4. Um, you can get really wide golf cart tires, or, and if you don't put those, even the standard tires are 16 inches high in the rear. Another disadvantage I have with the S4 is gonna be the sheer size of the unit. It's not gonna be something that you're really gonna put on the back of a mobility lift and transport around town, especially when you go with the golf cart tires, the hard top canopy. You might be able to get the basic scaled down S4 on like a larger 301 XL Harmar lift, but in general, that is not gonna be a unit, hey, I'm taking to the park, I'm taking here, that's gonna be somewhere you're driving around your community or from point A to point B, but you're not trying to actually transport it unless you have a trailer um, that you're gonna pull behind your vehicle. 
It's a very high weight capacity, good long range scooter um, that's very customizable. So that's why this is gonna come in at number four on my list for best all terrain scooters. Coming in at number three on my list is going to be the Pride Pursuit 2. Um, Pride reinvented this unit, came back out with it. They had the Pursuit a long time ago. They came back out with the Pursuit 2 and kind of updated it up to market standards now. So what makes this unit great is it only comes with lithium batteries. Now the downside to lithium batteries of these size are you're not able to transport it by planes, trains, and on cruises because it's too big of a lithium battery. But when you're looking for power, performance, and speed, don't look any farther than the Pursuit 2. It is a fantastic price point with a single battery at that mid $3,000 price point range. If you want to upgrade the battery, now you're going to be in that lower uh, $4,000 price point range. But it is a very, very comfortable unit. It has fantastic shocks on this unit. Um, and not to mention, there are three colors. You can get a black, you can get a matte gray, or you can get an orange. There's not many scooters on the market that have this orange looking color. So if you want to kind of stand out, look at that orange color for the Pursuit 2. So a couple other things with the Pursuit 2 that's very good is their suspension is fantastic. I've had people ride that scooter and say, wow, I was so impressed on how good that ride was. Now it does stop pretty quick when you come to release the brake. I don't know if that's a standard testing standard they had to do because it does go nine miles an hour, but it does stop at a relatively quick pace. Um, you are able to get multiple different seat sizes on this unit and they do come with a memory foam seat. So it's a very comfortable seat that is a waterproof stitching seat. Very, very comfortable unit. Now the power and the performance. I actually have a video out there which showing a pull an F250 with that unit with ease. It has a 1000 to 1200 watt standard motor which peaks out at 1800 watts. Another great thing that I like about the Pursuit 2 is this unit will fit on the on a Harmar AL100. That's a fully automatic lift by Harmar that goes on the back of a lot of vehicles. On the AL100, like I said, the other units might be a little bit bigger. Um, that has a handle that comes down. It pushes with a pad on the floorboard of the scooter. So if you are looking for something for mom and dad and you want as easy as possible, that is able to fit on the Harmar AL100. So once again, the Pursuit 2 does come in number three on my list due to power, performance, speed, durability. I mean, not to mention it's made by Pride Mobility, which is the best manufacturer on the market. Um, but it has everything that you would want in that middle $3,000 price point. So once again, Pursuit 2, number three on my list. All right, number two on my list is going to be the PX4, also made by Pride Mobility. You might see these top three as a common theme of Pride Mobility, but they do make the best scooters on the market. So the PX4 is unlike other scooters on the market. This has a key fob, similar to how you would get into a gym or other types of things, a small key fob that you actually need that's specific to your scooter to turn your unit on. Beyond the PX4, it comes with the best suspension that Pride has come out with to date, the best. Uh, it has automotive grade connectors on the unit. So it is made to last. They said certain scooters are made to last five to seven years. This is supposed to be made up to that seven to 10 year mark of daily usage before they start to think, hey, it's more cost effective to replace the unit than to just try to keep fixing it. So they made it with automotive grade connectors to extend that lifetime of the unit. This unit has a 500 pound weight capacity, but also has the exact same drivetrain as the, P as the Pursuit 2 as number three on my list. Uh, the PX4 comes with DOT grade headlights. So if you ever watch our videos on this unit, you will see these headlights will about blind you if you look at them head on. I mean, they are automotive grade headlights, turn signals. It is a beast of a scooter. Now you can get up to a 22 inch wide seat or down to an 18 inch seat on this unit as well. But do remember 500 pound weight capacity on this unit. Now this unit comes with sealed lead acid battery. So if you are looking for a big scooter that still goes fast up to that nine mile uh, per hour range, but you want to be able to have it to be able to transport it, um, whether you're going on a trip, uh, different things, this is any sealed lead acid size battery on the market is approved for transportation. Lithium is the one you have to be concerned about. 
The PX4 also comes with, they will give you the PDF file of the sticker overlay. So if you want to take this to a print shop, you are able to customize your scooter where you see the color inserts on this and get those custom made. So we've thought of ideas of trying to mix and match Buccaneers colors because we're here in Florida or different things, but that is unique on the market too. Most other manufacturers do not give out that type of sticker cutout overlay, what the actual file size is, so that you are able to really customize the unit to what you would like it to look like. Now the unit does actually come with a very impressive ground clearance. So if you are going outside, I think it's about three and a half inches at the deck, or four and a half inches at the deck and about three and a half at the motor. So beware, a lot of places will tell you ground clearance is a certain number and they're measuring at the higher part of the ground clearance, not at the motor, which is typically always your lowest point of ground clearance. And last but not least, this unit is just a sweet looking unit. I mean, having mirrors in a different position, the uh, aggressive looking tires, they're a different shape than a lot of other stuff in the market. Um, I've driven these scooters outside and I can tell you that PX4 is very, very fun to drive. So if you're looking at a great unit, it is a little more pricey. It's about the $5,000 price point range. Um, but if you are a heavy set individual, or even if you're not, and you just want to have some power outside, I want you to go ahead and look at number two on my list, the PX4 by Pride Mobility. Now there is one scooter here that did not make the top five because it doesn't quite fit the same criteria of what I was looking for. It is a very unique and a very awesome scooter. It's called the Pride Bandit. Uh, this unit is a portable scooter. If you've seen the Revo before that Pride Mobility had, imagine the Revo on steroids. So what they did is they took that unit, they upgraded the suspension, they upgraded the motor, like twice as strong of a motor, and they put lithium batteries in there. They put a shock inside the actual seat post. So driving that unit is crazy comfortable. It's got about a 600 watt motor in it, but when you see the size of the scooter, it goes about eight miles an hour and you still are able to break this unit apart. And if you do stay with the 18 inch seat, cause it has a slider on it, you are able to also put that on the back of a Harmar AL100 lift. So if you don't want to take it apart, but you want something smaller, that's still going to have speed, power and distance, but also be able to navigate in smaller spaces, maybe shopping centers. Um, look at the Pride Mobility Baja Bandit. And last, but certainly not least, number one on our list of our favorite off-road, all-terrain mobility scooters, and it's been number one on our list since this unit has come out, is the Wrangler by Pride Mobility. If you want to imagine a unit that they spared no expense on creating, that's not gonna, there's nothing else is gonna perform better on the market. Look at the Pride Wrangler 2. They came out with the Wrangler 1, I think around 2018. We sold hundreds and hundreds of those units. We were the number one seller in the whole United States for the Wrangler 1. So I could give you a true feedback from our customers on that unit. Nothing comes close to that unit. When you imagine everything else that I listed on this list that has a peak of 1800 watts or under, the Wrangler has two motors in the rear that are over 2,200 watts each. So you're talking 4,400 watts of power, which translates close to seven horsepower for an electric mobility scooter. Now this is not an FDA class two medical device. So it's not gonna be something that you're gonna say, oh, hey, my doctor's gonna get me this unit because that's not gonna be typically approved or it's not, it might be taxable in some states. But when you wanna talk about sheer power and performance, there is nothing that comes close to the Wrangler 2. This thing has large, wide golf cart tires on the unit, and like I said, dual motors in the rear. Everything else that I mentioned on this list has one motor. There is two motors that work independently in the rear of this scooter. It has fantastic suspension on this unit. Now the Wrangler 2 is in that lower $5,000 price point range. You can upgrade from there. You can get up to a 22 inch wide seat on that and you can get up to 100 amp hour batteries. Now that might bring your cost closer to $6,000 on that price point. But I will tell you this, the only place that I've not been able to successfully take this unit just simply due to the tread pattern on the tires would be the softest of soft sand that we have here at Florida beaches. But everywhere else, we've had people climbing the freaking the sides of mountains. I mean, across their properties. I mean, this unit is a beast. 
If this unit will not go there, no other mobility scooter will go there. I cannot tell you that when we first came out with this, when, that, when Pride first came out with this scooter, for safety reasons, they're gonna tell you, hey, maybe a 10 degree incline that thing can climb. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna state how, what the incline was for liability reasons, but we well exceeded that on a wet surface and it flew up the side of the hill. I mean, we've really tried to test this unit. It has a really good high ground clearance. Now, the only downside might be to this unit is the seat sits a little bit higher. So if you are somebody that tries to slide board transfer or something else into the unit, I believe it's 26 or 27 inches off the ground. So, but this is not your typical handicap scooter. This is, I have a hard time walking. I wanna go on trails. I wanna go on paths. I wanna explore my property. I wanna be able to keep up with the grandkids and I don't wanna be, hey, I can't go off the road a little bit or I can't go here. You don't have to worry about that with the Wrangler. And last thing I'm gonna mention, not only does it have power, but it tops out at 11 miles per hour. So when you want something that's still gonna get you from A to B pretty quick, I mean, I have guys that take this hunting in the woods because they don't wanna use anything that's gasoline powered because it makes too much noise and the animals hear them coming. So think about the things and the applications that you can really use a scooter where you can really regain your independence and go places that you never thought you'd be able to go anymore. Take a look at number one of our list. It is the Pride Mobility Wrangler 2. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.